everyone welcome back to Rebecca's coloring arts and crafts so I just got another bit of a puzzle haul um I kind of attempted to go for a bit of a walk today I don't know if you can tell but my foot's a bit puffy because of it um but I went for a bit of a walk today I was intending to get shall we say snacks um instead I ended up getting puzzles <laughs> um because they had these ones that came out for five dollars to eight dollars so these ones here were the eight dollar puzzles in a, this is in Australian these ones here were five dollars a puzzle um and I kind of figured it would be better getting um the puzzles than getting snacks or food that is not going to make me feel great with my stomach and stuff because I've surprisingly had quite a bit of an appetite the last four days I've been ravenous ever since I did the hydrotherapy and I'm just ravenous and hungry all the time and I can't get enough to eat kind of thing and I don't quite know why but yeah so anyway um we've got some puzzles here to haul so I'll go with the five dollar ones first and these are puzzle collector it's got crazy art on it and this one is Amazing Coral Reef by Gerald Newton. It looks so cute and adorable. It's kind of obviously a painting style um, art piece. But you got your... Oops, excuse me. I'm just... Fumble fingers, aren't I? With everything. Fumble fingers. But you've basically got like... Oops, reflections. That does not work with reflections. Yeah, you've basically got like your islands, a little bit of area above the water, your underneath the water area, treasure chest, little things to find as you're doing it. It's awesome. And I really thought this was really cute and hence I got it. Um, you got a bit of a shipwreck in the background there too. Jellyfish, cuttlefish, turtles, um, octopi or octopus. And seahorse, and yeah, there's many different creatures. Clownfish, I can't think of the names for all of them. I think this one here is an angelfish. But yeah, um, awesome to have. And you got some of your gulls and stuff up here, and a bit of a dolphin, and a sailing boat, and a bit of an island. And yeah, it's awesome. And I thought that was very cute and something that I would very much enjoy doing. And then the next one I've also got here is um, by Puzzle Collector 2. And these are the $5 puzzles I'm doing first. But this one is by Adrian Chesterman. Um, and this is Lakeside Cottage, it's called. So that one is called Amazing Coral Reef. And this one is called Lakeside Cottage. And you've got a cute little oar and our swans and ducks and deer and a little well and hut and yeah it's just very adorable cute little cozy cottage and nature scene that I really loved and I think that's like a woodpecker box or something like that there but yeah I just love the color of this and obviously these are very much painting style ones and artist style things and I really really loved it and thought it was cute as anything and I haven't unwrapped the plastic on these yet. Um, typically, I have to unwrap the plastic as soon as I get them. But I haven't yet, just because I wanted to show you them first. And the last the last one I got here out of the $5 puzzles is Spring Meetup by Greg Giordano. Giordano? Something like that, I think it is. By Puzzle Collector. And this one is adorable um I'll sit it up like that so you don't have the reflection but it's got the cute little birds and dahlias and I think oh I know those flowers but I can't think of them but you got your hummingbird I think like a red robin or something like that but it's so cute and adorable and I just love the colors with the birds and the, the flowers and yeah I just thought it was really adorable and cute I thought it was and then the next ones that I've got here are the $8 puzzles. It, that, and I got these at my local Kmart. I don't know if you have Kmart or something in America or other places, but in Australia, these are $8 in my Kmart. And I was surprised I had such a good range today because there's not always such a good range because I'm in a regional Kmart, so they don't always have a great range. But 
they must have a better range at the moment because it's coming up to Christmas. So yeah, um, the first one that I've got here is the first in the landscape series, Stolen Moments. I was tempted to get all of these as well, um, but I ended up deciding to just get the one because I'd already gotten so many. Um, because they did have the Venetian Lagoon and the Riviera Rendezvous um, ones available in there, but I decided I would just get the one of these for now because, well, sometimes you've got to pick and choose, but I also thought this one, I chose this one over the other two just because I thought it was adorable with the flowers and the little flower pots on the window sills and the little cute little table setting out here and all of that. I just really liked the look of this image the best out of the three, but I was sorely tempted by this one here too, but... <laughs> Can't get everything all the time, and there were others that I wanted more. So, yeah, I had to pick and choose kind of thing. But um, these are very much sort of more painting style ones, a lot of these are. Or artist style. And, yeah, I love some of the ones like that. Like, um, I've noticed that my mum has said once, they're not clear or, like, photo quality. And it's like, yeah, it's a painting style for, um, puzzle. So, <laughs> Yeah, um, yeah, I always find it a nice change to do that sort of paintbrush style image that's sort of more antique looking, I guess you could say. Not so much photograph looking, but like very much artist looking. But then I like art things because I like arts and crafts, te technically. And the next one I've also got here, they didn't have any others of this one available there at my store but this is in angel and doves and you got your cute little girl angel with the doves and yeah i just thought this was very very adorable and cute and something i don't actually have a lot like this but i do love the other two in this set so it's kind of a shame they didn't have those there as well but, yeah, I really, really loved this one. And I thought it was so cute and adorable with her little angel wings and her little nightgown and the flowers in her hair and the rainbow and the light source and just the wreaths of flowers and the stone bit and the doves. And, yeah, I loved everything about it, basically. But, yeah, it was so cute. And, yeah, um, I'm just stacking them all up beside me here with my leg and then the next two that I've got here too or I've got um two of the three from this imagination series because we only had two available and these are the two that I, they did have available were the dragon ones and this was the only one available in this version of the dragon one but um oh, this dragon one and um, they actually had a lot of the second one that I'll show you in a minute but, yeah, I really, really loved this. And it actually says high quality beside it. So I'll be interested to see just how quite high quality they are for the price of them. So that'll be an interesting comparison to do. But I like these dragon sort of fantasy images. And I thought these were quite interesting and unique. And so, yeah, I got them basically. And a good price. Very good price. And then the final dragon one that I've got here is Helia Golden Dragon, it's called. So the other one was Merlin's Dragons. And this one's a cute little dragon with the gemstone and just, I just, I liked sort of the goldeny colours with the browns and a bit of the pink and the blue eye. And yeah, I just, I guess the image spoke to me. That's why I, I basically buy puzzles when I like the images. So <laughs> yeah, I basically got it because I liked it. But, yeah, I thought it was very cute and adorable and, yeah. And then I'm just going to sit these back here a bit. So the last three that I've got here are the same series. So this is called the Colourful Series and it's just a series of cats. So the first one we've got here is called Jazz Cat. And obviously a lot of colour in it and it's very cute. I love the cat with the tie and the glasses and the hat. And yeah, just the patterns and stuff around him. And then 
the next one that I've got is called Tapestry Cat. And so these would be good for you, all you cat lovers out there. Like, I like cats, but I have a dog, so obviously I'm not going to be getting a cat. Um, not to mention the fact of how many times I've seen people whose cats have done damage to their puzzles, and I wouldn't want that. But, yeah, so the next one we've got here is Tapestry Cat, which is obviously a whole heap of flowers and patterns. And, yeah, I just really loved the image. And the very last one that I also got out of this series that I liked a lot was called um, Tropy Cat. So obviously this one's waterfall, tropical style features, so like leopard spots, all of that. But, yeah, I really thought these were some really cool puzzles for the price of them. I thought they were some... Definitely people could get enjoyment out of. And, yeah, um, I just wanted to basically share them with you, show you what I found. Um, if you've got a Kmart or something, or maybe they stopped this in Target or somewhere if you're in America. I don't know. Um, I'll just show you quickly. The company is apparently Arrow Puzzles, so I'm not sure where they're found. But... Um, yeah, and it says that they're high quality, as you can see here. It says high quality. Puzzle size is 69 centimetres by 50 centimetres. And I'll be interested to see what the puzzle piece shapes and that are like when I do them. But obviously that's not quite yet. But yeah, if you enjoyed this, um, please leave a like, subscribe, comment. I always love hearing from you. I hope you've enjoyed this bit of a puzzle haul. And I will see you later.